This video is brought to you by Wizish.com, the only place on the web where you can buy thousands of new YouTube subscribers and YouTube views for just pennies on the dollar. Click the link below and see how easy it could be for you to become an overnight social media sensation. In this tutorial, we're going to dis discuss tags. In your left hand menu, if you click on post and expand your options, click on post tags and here we'll see all the tags that you currently have on your website. Tags are different from categories. Tags provide information on what your post is about. They can be keywords or just one or two or three words that tell people what your blog post is about. Now in this list you can see which tags you currently have. You can manage your list of tags. If you hover over the title of your tag you can edit that tag to change it. You can delete that tag and you can view it as well. So if we wanted to click on this one which is called Google and edit that and I just want to change it and make sure it has a capital. And the slug is your next box down. The slug is the URL friendly version of the name. This is usually all lowercase and contains only letters, numbers and hyphens. And seeing as this is just one word we'll leave it as is. The description you can add here to tell people what the tag is about or leave it empty. So just remember if you've made any changes to click update. And there we are, we've edited our tag. Now if we want to create a new tag, we can click here. We need to name the tag first of all. So we'll call this a web a website marketing. And that name can appear as any way you like it. Now the slug again is the URL friendly version of the name needs to be all lowercase and only contain letters, numbers and hyphens. So we can make this website-marketing and here you can add a description or leave it empty. We'll call it articles about website marketing and then click add new and there we are, we've created a new tag called Website Marketing. Now when you create or edit a post, you can select any of these tags, probably no more than about five to six tags per post, and make sure that they're tags that accurately describe what your post is about. And there we are, that's WordPress tags.